hey guys welcome to the channel and today's video i'm going to show you how to make a very simple stylus third person controller using playmaker and in the tutorial i'm going to discover basic movements like idle run walk and jump so let's get started before we get started i went ahead and download all the animations with the model at mixam.com but if you have no time then download the project file with all the animations, the link is given in the description below. Open a new unit project, HDRP or URP, delete the example sets, reset the camera, drag the animations and the model to the set folder in the project tab create a new folder named player player drag all the animations past the model drop them in the player folder mark them again set them on humanoid apply the settings go to the player model and extract the textures before extracting the textures create a fold name the fold textures like that select the fold Then fix the normal maps. After fixing, extract the materials to the same folder. Select it. So after that, create a plane. Reset the transform. Call the plane ground like that. So let's give our ground a nice color you want to do that. Create a material. Give the material any color you want. I'll set orange. Like that. Drop the material to the ground. Anything plain. Now let's drop our player in the scene. Name the player. After naming the player. Get an animator controller. Controller. Name the controller player. Then drop the controller to the animator component. Open the player controller. So this is a one meter window. Drop the add animation to the animator window. The transitions are already set. This means she put the add animation on start. Don't forget to check loop time. Apply. So now let's play and see how it works. She's playing the eye animation, but she's not working. To do that, go to the working animation and check loop time. Apply. Drop the work animation to the animator window. Rename it. Right click the ID animation, make transition. Right click on the work animation, make transition. Also go to the running animation. Check loop time. To apply. Drop the running animation. There. 
rename it also run make transition make also transition drop the stand jump animation name it stand jump make transitions also like that okay also go to the jump animation drop it first name it make transition transition like that make also these transitions for to make transitions between animations we need parameters to do that add a float parameter walk Got the transition between idle and walk check exit time got conditions add a parameter greater than 0.1 got another transition check exit time add a parameter less than 0.1 so this means if the parameter is greater than 0.1 she will walk but if it le it's less than 0.1 she won't walk add a bold parameter run Got a transition check exit time conditions add a parameter run got another transition check exit time go to conditions add a parameter run add another bull name it stand jump stand jump like that got the transition between idle and stand jump check exit time conditions add a parameter stand jump go to another transition check exit time conditions parameter stand jump create another bull jump got the transition check exit time go to conditions add the parameter jump now let's check and see how it works so if I write one she works I check on run she runs stand jump she jumps so it's cool but it looks like some animations are rotating the body so this video was too long and divided in four parts so we shall fix that in the second part so don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button.